Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Today's video comes from Officially Urban. Guys, I've been on this Instagram page for a while, giving them some free promotion right now. Go check them out on Instagram. Also, add me on Instagram, man. Chisha Zed. I want to play you guys this TikTok video, which is what they shared on their page titled, Women are very, very scary. So before I actually play this video, I'm going to read you the caption just because it's kind of quick and I really want to make sure you guys get the caption here. It says, when you have a boyfriend but a famous rapper trying to fly you out and take you out for dinner, right? And her eyes have the like hypnosis, like, you know, the, the rings of hypnosis. You guys know what I'm talking about. You see it a lot in cartoons. Without any further delay, let's get into it. I got to put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucy. And so what she's basically saying there with the palm on her head is, I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. And that's from um, a show or movie, I'm assuming. But she's basically saying that she's struggling with the idea that she has a boyfriend, but a famous rapper wants to fly her out. But she's thinking, I have to put me first. Here's why this is um, interesting. First, I'm going to read these comments for you guys. These are the type of posts remind me why I listen to Future religiously. <laughs> yes, sir. Something that a lot of people don't realize. If you don't know this, I hope you realize this after watching this video. Instagram is the largest dating platform on the planet. It is. And if you don't know this, chances are you're not a woman. So why do women know this and you may not? Well, because... Instagram is the place where women have access to the 20% men who they don't usually come in contact with on their day-to-day -day lives. Now, these men are men who are making either 100 figures or more or are celebrities, right? These are your blue check guys. These are guys who are famous rappers. Doesn't matter if he's a rapper in freaking United States or freaking Dubai, right? It doesn't matter. That blue check shows that that man is a verified high value man in most cases i know that's bitter to hear and you guys don't like this coffee this coffee smells like shit this is the sad reality of our day and it is sad and i'll explain why if you're dating a moderately attractive woman god forbid your chick is bad right and i'm talking about bad as f the sad reality is she's getting hit on by rappers. She's getting hit on by men with blue checks. She's getting hit on by that top 20% of men on social media. Now, why is this a problem? Well, social media has made it that before women were only limited to the men in their geographic demographic, right? At their school, at their church, the bar they went to or the club. But now that's been expanded to millions and millions of people. Now they get access to the guy on the dating app who's a thousand miles away but has no problem and is not pressed by spending money, a thousand dollars on a plane ticket for her to travel to Dubai and f some camels, right? And that's, the, that, that's on the extreme end, right? But most women today, if they're moderate or very good looking, have access to top tier men. How do I know this? Well, I remember listening to a recent podcast with Fresh and Fit, Brittany Renner, and DJ Academics. In that interview, Fresh told a story of him going to a Drake party. And at that Drake party, he was hanging out with some average chicks, right? They didn't have any blue checks, right? They didn't have all the notoriety or fame. All they had was a fat <laughs> and maybe a moderately feminine personality. And so the big surprise was that one of those chicks that Fresh knew was actually texting back and forth with Future. And the girl shared with Fresh and said, hey, Future's been texting me this whole time after that Drake party. And he was surprised because the chick was average, right? And so guys, it's not far-fetched to assume that this chick here in this video who's sharing this um, situation where she has a boyfriend, but a famous rapper is asking to fly her out. It's not crazy to assume that that's actually a real situation. I believe this was a genuinely real situation. 
right? The rapper was actually asking to fly out a chick who had an ordinary guy as a boyfriend. So the question is, what do you do if you're in this situation? Well, first, I'm going to talk about the power of RP game. That's that first one, the power of RP game. This is why it's important that you understand RP game, that you're able to capture a woman's attention and have her loyalty and attraction on a mental level. This is why that's important, that you're able to interact with the woman, not compliment her too much, not give her too much validation. She constantly seeks your validation. You set the standard high so that she can constantly seek your validation. Why? Because you're not feeding into her beauty. You're not sold by who she portrays herself to be, right? That's that first part. That second part is why you have to always be improving as a man. You have to always be improving your life, getting better, hitting the gym, making more money, all these things. I've heard guys comment on my comment section and say, it's so sad that men have to do all these things to maintain women's attraction. That's the reality of life. You either accept it or you lose. And dog, I don't expect you to lose. I expect you to... I expect you to get that work. I expect you to improve yourself. Focus on you. Do not allow... I don't care if it's a famous rapper... Don't allow yourself to be intimidated by that. And that comes from having an abundance mindset, knowing that you can replace that chick, that there's another woman out there with that woman's qualities who you can replace and being okay with that and being okay with losing her. And if a woman knows that you're okay with losing her, she won't leave. She won't. I've likened this in the past to a, a lion in a zoo, right? A lion in a zoo is only cool when people know that that lion should be out in the wild. And the owner who captured that lion is like a woman who captured a man who she knows is supposed to be out there busting cheeks left and right. But when she captures that man, she's like, hey, look at me. I've got this lion that's supposed to be out here clapping cheeks left and right, and he's somehow loyal to me. Everybody, look at me. But what keeps people interested is that lion looks like a wild animal. You have to remain a wild animal. And how you do that is that people have to look at you and say, how the hell did you trap him? If she knows that you cannot survive without her, she knows that you're no longer that wild animal. You, don't, you lack that abundance mindset. A woman never wants to leave you and break up with you when she knows that that will actually make you happy. And the only way that will make you happy is if you make yourself or turn yourself into the type of man that if that chick was to let you go, that woman was to let you go, you would have plenty of other options. That just kills a chick, man. And will keep her loyal. But if she looks at you and thinks, this guy can't survive without me. This guy's dependent on me. This guy loves me so much. He wouldn't know what to do if I let go of him. Well, she's kind of tired of you, right? You're no longer that lion in a zoo who's in an unfamiliar territory where people are looking at you. And you're going up to the grass and you're scaring them, right? Because you're this lion and they're just like, how the, how the hell did they get this? This is crazy. What am I trying to say in, in a very um, figurative way? Maintain that dog mindset. Maintain that alpha mentality. Know that at any time that woman can leave you. And the way you do that is keep your options open. That doesn't mean that you text other girls and you're constantly cheating. No, that just means that you keep on improving on yourself. That's how you show your value. And maybe that may come from a chick coming to flirt with you in front of your girl. And, you know, you're just kind of playing it off. And you know what I mean? You let her know that you still got it. Right? 
girl, I belong in the jungle, right? You got to let her know what's up. But don't get it twisted, man. These women out here have the power, if possible, they are tempted to leave the man that they're with. Why? Because even an average woman, proven by fresh and fit, has access to high value men. Why? Because a high value man, a man who has the income and the status can date horizontal, up and down. Whereas a woman who's successful only dates up, right? She wants a man who makes more money than her, a man who's performing better than her, or a man who's at least her equal. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave your comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the content. As always, you know the goal is 60K subscribers by the end of January. Until next time, I appreciate you all. Amen. Peace. Yo, what's up, guys? So I'm here in the back end of my studio. This is where all the magic happens, man. This is where all the editing happens. Um, I'm actually looking at my analytics right now, and what it's telling me is that 65% of you are not subscribed, Aww. right? And this is 65% of people who watch my channel on a consistent basis. Listen, guys, I need your help. My goal is 60K subscribers by the end of January. That's double my subscriber rate right now. We can do this, but I can't do it without you. Hit that subscribe button. You may think you're subscribed, but the way YouTube works is that it pushes videos to you, right? You don't go searching for these videos. They appear and they pop up. Unless if you hit that notification bell, if you did, I appreciate you. So if you think you're subscribed, if you can do me a favor and make sure, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all. I'm out.